Jordan is not somewhere people typically go as a family. So we were a little nervous traveling here, especially with our new baby girl. But we love learning from new cultures. And we really wanted to take our children to see a wonder of the world as part of their schooling. So jump in with us as we wake up in Jordan. Good morning. Good morning, little one. Adventure time. Good morning. Hello. Beautiful girl. I'm saying good morning. She was already up, weren't you? <laughs> weren't you? Time oh. to get you guys something a bit special. This is made in Jordan. Highest <laughs> quality. I've been assured. <laughs> it's yours. Yours. So boys, oh, you are welcome. You're welcome. Oh, what did okay. Papa get you? So oh. boys, a tent. <laughs> These are tents. This is what uh, the Jordanian men wear on their head. We need to get rid of things. We've got somewhere special to be. But boys, Hello. we'll show you how to to use these properly later. Your <laughs> 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 adventure shoes. <laughs> okay, come on, boys. Adventure time. Woo! I like mm. it so much. I can even die to the bar. To translate that. <laughs> die to the bar. Guys, I love you so much, I could even die to the burp. <laughs> the three old compliments are the best. <laughs> even die to the burp for you. Oh, I would do anything for you, even a burp. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, boys. These boys are so loved oh, up. <laughs> Come on, let's go, guys. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Blurry eyed and speaking utter nonsense. It's never easy getting out in the morning, but it is always worth it. Already, you can see how excited they are. Hey, little one, are you ready for your first wonder of the world? Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big or small, I love that sense of adventure you get when you rise with the sun and head out somewhere new. Okay, that excitement is really kicking in. Are you ready to see your first wonder of the world? Yes. Yeah, me too. Okay, let's go. Woo! I'm so glad you're joining us today. It's going to be a beautiful and interesting day. <laughs> this is so different. I remember when Pete and I went to the Taj Mahal and we got there just as it was opening. We were racing down and loving that kind of, oh, let's get there first. I'm picking snack bar out of a wrapper to make sure the kids have a, a snack bar on the way down. So, <laughs> travel really does look very different now. <laughs> okay, there you go. We genuinely love traveling with our children, but of course it has taken a little getting used to. To be fair, all parenting is a crazy learning curve. Oh, and realizing that about 90% of parenting is food in and food out. <clears throat> Okay, this is snack stop number two. We haven't quite reached the treasury yet and we already need another snack. You hungry boys. <laughs> okay, let's go see this wonder of the world. Travelling with children really is so different. I feel like there's so much to learn through travelling with them. So in the past, we would have steamed through this section to get to the main event of the treasury and having to stop a few times for water, a few times for snacks, a few times to poke a rock, a few times to go in a tunnel. I feel like we've appreciated it so much more already. And we're not even at the main attraction yet. I think that truly is the beauty of children wherever you are in the world. They just have a pace and a way of seeing things that you can really learn from. I to imagine you were the first person, 18, 12, walking down here. What would you think if you could see that? Uh, <laughs> a bit wow. A bit wow. wow. That's a perfect I'm description. I'm Whoa. Oh my goodness. We can look back someday. Wow, absolutely magical. Despite all the snack and toilet stops, we still got to the treasury early enough to really appreciate it and take it in before all the crowds arrived. Culture and the hospitality. These guys thank are you. so kind. You really are. You're nice You'd expect people. to. Thank you. You're nice people too. 
This is really cute. They're showing how to make these mini sides for the kids. Aww. We met the sweetest local guy who taught us how to wear the Jordian headscarf properly. We love learning from the locals. He was so genuinely lovely with the children. Oh, Darian. <laughs> Too cute. As taking family travel photos is part of our profession, we have had to really educate ourselves on what to look for when it comes to anything involving animals. So we got to know him first and asked a few questions. We've been on a journey over the years and where we've got to is just be human about it. There's definitely things here that are just wrong and really sad and we're keeping away from that. But the more we travel, we've just come to this place of just being real about it, looking to the animal, what's their experience, looking to the person, how are they treating them, how healthy does the animal look and taking it from there. <laughs> the children had a lot of fun meeting the camel. I really love world schooling the children. And this is one of those perfect moments where the children actually get to meet a real live camel. I'm not sure what Florence made of it. It's really important to us that whenever we're taking family photos that the children genuinely enjoy what we're doing. We always make sure that we're having a giggle and that the moment is genuine. Amazing. Okay. okay guys, you can run. Okay. Often one of us is just genuinely engaging with the children and encouraging them to engage with what they're taking in and then whoever's behind the camera just captures it. I really can see why this is one of the wonders of the world. Beautiful. I know I'm posing because you want to get this amazing B-roll but the truth of it is whilst I'm standing there like Wow, this is actually amazing. This is stunning. <laughs> the funny thing about traveling with kids is you see everything through their eyes. So I'm genuinely super fascinated by this and the boys were impressed when they came around the corner. But the truth of it is it's like, oh, camel, oh, rocks, oh, sand. But just down here having a living, just down here living their best lives. <laughs> and I'm carving. <laughs> You're carving, you superstar. Pro tip, get your photos as quick as you can before they roll in the sand. <laughs> So we stopped to do a little bit of painting and Hudson, can you show me your camel? Come in here. Oh He's God. painted. You painted a camel, didn't you? How cute is that camel? Really? So inspired by the camel. A camel. <gasps> He's painted a camel. He carved it and then painted it. <laughs> That's it. What did you make, Darian? Uh, been... A gem. A gem. So he's been painting, carving and painting a gem. Boys, well done. Um, <laughs> he was so cute. When I first painted the rock, we missed it on camera, but he's like, wow. I don't think I've ever had so much adoration for painting a rock. <laughs> I love traveling with the kids. I would never have thought to do this if it was just me and Pete. I'm trying to paint the sand. I love the way they experiment and connect to the place. Can I still pick you up? I can still pick up my biggest boy. Okay. Make so, sure that one doesn't break down. Of course. <laughs> okay, can you count how many pillars there are? And if you can tell me how many pillars there are, I'll tell you why there's that many. Twelve, well done. There are twelve. Okay, can you think of anything else that there's twelve of? Twelve months. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, right on it. Good boy. Legends of twelve months. What's fascinating about the treasury is it's built like a calendar. There are twelve pillars for twelve months. You can count those. Seven, seven days in the week. And if you were to count all the flowers, there would be thirty-one. It represents thirty-one days as an average in a month. So it's like a massive, Whoa. giant calendar. Of course, when we're world schooling, we love to jump into a place and for them to experience it. And being teachers, we want to tell them all the facts. But the truth of it is, they want to jump in, they want to feel it, they want to paint it, they want to paint the sand, they want to connect with it. And, and it's going to sound cliche, but I feel like I'm learning so much from them. I wish that we traveled like this before, that we'd actually think to bring some paint to a place like this and stop and take it in. It, it really changes how you see a place in an amazing way. Woo! And like every good school, it's snack time every 10 minutes. <laughs> Can you film this? Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> this is the reality of traveling with kids. Like pulling out a giant bag of food, like, hurt. <laughs> <laughs> is that our food bag? That's our food bag, I can barely pull it out. Oh, oh my goodness. 
Gosh, yeah. feeding an army of tryons. <laughs> and it's gonna look terrible, but one of their favorite snacks is dry noodles, and it keeps me going for ages. <laughs> winner, winner, noodle dinner. Can we stay together? When we started filming as a family, I wasn't sure how much quirk to let you in on, like the fact that we eat dry noodles and boiled eggs. Now it gets really quirky. We had to boil these eggs in a kettle, which is a pro tip if you like eggs when you're traveling. But getting healthy protein on the road can be really tricky. So uh, last night, very late last night, Pete was boiling up eggs in the kettle. So it's so much of travel, especially when people do travel vlogging, is all about the glam and the superlative. And evidently we do travel on a pretty tight budget as a family. And that just means that we can have more adventures. <laughs> and that means we can have more adventures as a family. So much of what we're doing is about having family time together, family adventures together, creating a crazy happy space <laughs> full of adventure and exploration. And what's funny, in a, in a world of superlative media, we want to keep it real, but like how real do we get? Do we show that just things like this, like the really small bits? So do you even want to see that? Is that too boring? Part of it is not about keeping it it's not that we don't want to keep it real, but this is too small and weird and boring. Um, I'd love to know, let me know in the comments. Like, we love to take you to the big things, but do you like seeing the weird small things too? I honestly don't know. Let us know in the comments if you like to see the weird small things as well as the big things. Okay, I'm gonna zip close the uh, sack of snacks and then uh, try for another round of exploring. <laughs> Snack time for everyone. Because we're in Jordan and it is a Muslim country, I've been asking about what's acceptable when it comes to nursing. And so far, and I really hope they're right, um, the girls have just said, if you just make the effort to cover with something like this, it should be okay. So it's okay. Just as we started to pack away our snacks, we'd looked up and wow, that escalated quickly. So I feel so blessed that we just got here in the time that we did and had those moments. And I'm happy that everyone's having their moments too. But wow, what a difference. Just about five, ten, ten minutes made. Wow. Pro marriage tip. Get yourself a peat. <laughs> but not this one. He's taken. Seriously, I am so grateful for Pete. I still can't believe we're now traveling as a family of five with a baby girl. And one of the things we found really quickly is that we can't always do everything together at the same time for so many kind of obvious reasons. Pete has been so sweet. He just said, actually go take a moment. Emma, I've got the kids, take a moment, go up there and have a drink and really take in the view. And so, and so that's what I'm going to do. He's so good at seizing the moment and encouraging me to seize the moment. And amongst the exhausting chaos and carnage and happiness of bringing up young children, Pete has his way of making things count. Another cliche, but it really is the little things. Good. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? This is genuinely a really nice moment. And this guy is so sweet. So actually taking a moment in a place like this is a totally different experience. A new friend. Hot, but it's good. Oh, it's really hot. Is it a spiced sweet tea? and it's hot, and as it's heating up, this is genuinely a really nice thing to stop and do. So, hmm, that is really good, that is really good. Wow, I can take a moment to genuinely take this in. Come through there, we're walking along this path here. Yeah, yeah entry gates, so we come through there. Where to next? Okay, this place has different moods, different vibes, depending on when you're here. So as things are heating up there, mum jokes, every pun intended. We are gonna head down here and explore a little bit more. Yeah. See those caves, caves everywhere. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard he's been collecting pretty much the whole of Petra in his shoes. That's an impressive collection. Boys? Hey, that was some good exploring. You boys have done amazing, but it is heating up. So mummy spotted a cave and I thought we could make into it a bit of a snack cave. Any idea what snacks mummy might have brought today? I don't know. Apart from dry noodles and eggs. I have got something a little bit nicer. What's a really amazing thing you can get here? One of your favourites? Beginning with duh. Darion. Darion. We can't eat Darion. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy some dates in a cave? Yeah. A nice drink, a nice drink and some dates in the cave. Let's go. We'll run for snacks. Come on, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Wow. 
Something we picked up traveling was this idea of fika, where you stop and have a nice moment together. So here we are in a cave about to have a cave fika. Competition number one, who can get the cleanest hands? <laughs> competitive <laughs> cleaning. Compe everything's competitive. Competitive cleaning. Okay, my, yeah, Mama's turn. One minute, Mama's turn. Usually when you're a family and you're in a, a place like this, um, people are like, ah, you haven't got time to think. Um, whereas here, it's like, oh, but your family, it's cheaper. I've never heard that in the world. They seem to really value family. It seems to be a genuine, strong part of Jordanian culture. And I just, I thought it was amazing. So we are, we're gonna stop and have a moment together, cool down. <laughs> I love going at the kids' pace. We never used to take moments like this and we really missed out. So we missed stop and take a little family moment together. I feel like there's so much pressure to open this. <laughs> um, the oh pressure. Bum, bum, if we sing it really badly, it won't be copyright, right? No. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, please, may I have? Mm. <laughs> okay. Can you cuddle me? Oh, yeah. Of course. Always. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Loving chaos. <laughs> Hello. Walking over. Just. Oh. Are you coming to see Mama? Are you in a cave? Oh, at this age, I think she's like, I don't mind as long as my people are there. <laughs> you love your people. People and milk. <laughs> love and milk. That's all they need at this stage. Oh, big adventures.